show that mic check one two. I love you too. 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 All right, I'm here with uh, Theodos Three. You know, what I'm saying quarterback for our Ohio Bobcats. Uh, had a pretty good game this week against Cal Poly, showing that Arsenal attack and uh, really just making plays um, through the air. You know, tell us about it, man. Basically, you know, we went out there just just got with it. Basically, got in the rhythm, got things going because we knew the offense, you know, needed just something, something to get going. So just went out there, have fun, you know, balled out with my teammates, have fun. All right, man. That's what's up, man. That's what you got to do, you know, just getting the rhythm and all that. You know, talk to us about our different uh, threats that we got. You know, everybody knows about TP, but oh, yeah. uh, really it's just, you know, people like uh, my man Terrence McCray and Riley and other guys like that that people don't know about to make, we, make us have, like, a real potent receiving core. Yes, just going down, just the receivers, just, okay, Taylor Price, you know, he's fast, my go-to guy. Uh, super weapon, you know, I call him T-Mac, you know, T-Mac, he, uh, He's just a beast, you know. He's gonna go up and get it. Nobody knows about him, but you know, you will know this weekend. Mm -hmm. You got Vaughn, you know, Vaughn just waiting for Vaughn to break out because Vaughn get loose if he get loose. Noah Keller here uh, with uh, 16 tackles, uh, had an outstanding game, uh, was the key to our victory uh, against uh, Cal Poly. Tell us about uh, your game. You know what, uh, just one well, it just seemed like it kept going out there and they kept just running the ball right at me. and. Uh, you know, coaches put us in a good place to uh, like a favorable position. So our D line was doing a good job of eating up blocks. So it was definitely a lot easier. Yeah, talk some of the challenges that came across last year when we played VMI, triple option, and uh, things we did well to stop these guys. You know, last year I don't think uh, our D line played as heavy on the offensive linemen and didn't allow them to climb as easily. And uh, we also had some better schemes coming into this one. We had a blitz we were able to run. And uh, we also just eliminated big plays. You know, we were making tackles when we needed to. You know, and we only let a couple big plays pop on some, you know, reverses and whatnot. But that'll happen. Yeah. Okay. Um, facing another run-heavy team like Tennessee, even though it's a different look, uh, what are the, some of the keys to getting getting the victory this week? You know, I think one of the things that'll definitely help us is you know they're going to try and line up, you know, and just run it right at us. And I think one thing that we're going to have to do is we're going to have to move around up front and be rolling down safeties all over the place, you know, to try and, you know, to try and confuse them and, you know, mess up their blocking schemes. I think if we can successfully do that, then uh, we'll be able to shut down their running game and then force them to pass. There's 100,000 people here, right? You know what I'm saying? It's a fight. We punch them in the mouth. First play. Every play. Till it's over. You know what I'm saying? Fight on three. One, two, three. Fight. What's up, man? I'm, uh, I'm here with uh, Chris Garrett, uh, number two. You know what I mean? Uh, had an outstanding game. You know, uh, you know, not many rushing yards, but big play, you know what I'm saying, right out the gate, you know what I'm saying, right when he touched the ball, touchdown, 95-yard kick return, man. Tell me about it, dog. Well, you know, everybody had their blocks and kickoff return, and I just I just followed my blocking, and, that was, and the rest is history. The rest is history, huh? That's the motivation, man, every time, huh, we get to the end zone, kickoff return? We practice it like that, you know, everybody get to the end zone, so, you know, we practice it. <laughs> You practice it, you got to do it in the game. So that's pretty much the focus point. Yes, sir. So talk to me about uh, our rushing attack, man. We got to get better, man. What's, your, what's, your, what's our plan? You know, we just working in, in practice every day, just trying to do the small things, right? You know, uh, linemen fitting on blocks, receivers blocking downfield, backs in the holes better. You know, it's a, it's, it's a whole collective on the offense, you know. So um, we should just look forward to us having a better rushing attack. What's the uh, key to getting the victory against Bowling Green offensively? Well, you know, Obviously, we got to move the ball. We just got to convert third downs um, and just uh, complete passes because we got to put the athletes on uh, receiver in so, you know, we can make things happen. So, those are my only keys. All right, thank you. No problem.